tools can you use to remind yourself of your self-worth after some big blows in life personally and professionally? Especially when dealing with toxic people whom you have no choice but to interact with, i.e. a child's father. Can you repeat the question? It's a long question. I appreciate the question, by the way. It's a good question, but it's a long one. What tools can you use to remind yourself of your self-worth? Tequila is the answer. Tequila. (laughs) Um, After some big blows in life, personally, professionally. Mm -hmm. So then there's obviously toxic people in life that are bringing that out as well, that you can't just cut from your circle. Who's the question from? Amanda Y. Amanda? Well, thank you for the question, Amanda. I think first you've got to understand that the best of your life is the rest of your life. And uh, Les Brown once said, if you get knocked down in life, try to land on your back because if you can look up, you can get up. Um, And I think that we're all going to have times when we get knocked down. The thing to remember is that's universal and it's not personal, right? Like life kicks everybody's ass. So you've got to understand that if you are getting knocked back, it's designed to actually refocus you on what you want, not what you don't want. Most people go through life only focusing on the mistakes, only focusing on the challenges, only focus on the problems, not focus on the solutions and the outcomes. So if you've had an experience of someone that is toxic, then you've got to get clear about, well, who do I actually want to have in my life now moving forward? So that's very, very, very important. Like, who do I want to have in my life moving forward? And it's the opposite of that. Sometimes you've got to know what you don't want to know what you want, number one. Number two, let's consider why is somebody toxic? You know, clearly, if you had a a child of this person, there was something not toxic about him in the beginning, or maybe you were attracted to that, and you've got to work through the internal alignment stuff so you stop reflecting that in the world. You know, um, I don't know if it was Freud, but I'll say it was anyway. Freud said that you're constantly walking around projecting your subconscious blocks and barriers on the world as mirror reflections. So if you're seeing toxicity in somebody else, if you're having some friction, I'm always focused on if I've got friction with somebody, where's that showing up in my own life? If I've got friction around someone being selfish, where am I being selfish in my own life? If I've got sh- Uh, friction with somebody not being fully committed, where am I not being fully committed in my own life? You've got to see that you're constantly a reflection of the world around you. So that might be a tough pill to swallow, but that's quite important. Um, But then in terms of how do you build back up your self-confidence? You know, very important. One is emotional mastery. You've got to be doing something every single day, and I mean every day, to set yourself up for success, to feel phenomenal. We call that anchoring, and we teach it in our programs. It's something I learned from Gilbert Anaku, peak performance coach for the All Blacks. But you've got to be doing something every day to get yourself pumped, to get yourself fired up, to get yourself ready to go. That could be as simple as having crystals, right? Or it could be as something around having uh, incantations and affirmations, quotes on your vision boards, music that you play, or physical movements that get you into the zone to start your day. Because I know that you will have something happen in your day as a mother, as a partner, as a friend, as a worker, whatever it might be. You'll have something happen in your day that's going to cause you to go off track. That's going to happen. Be prepared for it and act accordingly. That's very, very important. On top of that, I'd get you to write what I refer to as the 100 list. Now, this is a super powerful exercise, and I know many of you watching it's not going to do it because it's hard. But that's right, 100 things that you're proud of, 100 things that you've done in your life that you're really happy about. You know, you've been able to obviously have a child, right? You've been able to hold down a job. You've had great conversations. You've learned to read, what, write, talk, walk, drive a car, tie your shoes. You know, you've done all of these things. You, know, you got a pen license at one point, right? So you've done all of these things. What we've got to do is reinforce these things. Write a list of those 100 things. Don't stop until you get 100 things, big and small. And, and use that as your springboard to continue to reinforce how strong you feel about yourself. Because when you have moments of self-doubt, you've got to go back to moments of strength. And the best reference for, for that is moments where you've actually achieved things that are pretty incredible. If you've been able to bring life into this world, if you've been able to give birth to a child and, and hopefully raise a healthy, happy child, regardless if you're doing it with somebody or not. In fact, if you're doing it with someone that's an asshole, well, then it's even harder for you. If you can do that, then you can believe in yourself. Your kid probably believes in Santa Claus. Just believe in yourself. And that starts by laying a real foundation of going, you know what, I've done all of these great things so far and I'm still here. So if I'm still here, then let me move forward in my life as well. And also get rid of some people. You know, just because your child's father is not, uh, you guys are not connecting right now, one doesn't mean it has to be toxic, but if it is toxic, just, you know, eject those to that person, get rid of them from your life. Uh, have somebody else, an intermediary, manage them. You know, your circle, you've got to really guard your circle and the energy of that. Make sure you focus your time and your attention on good quality people, get more good quality people into your circle. I think that those things will make a huge impact. Oh, yeah.